Hey guys, so I am so excited to do this video today. It is time for the VIB Rouge Sale, 20% off starting November 6th through 9th. I'm gonna try my hardest to get this up on Thursday so that you guys can maybe get your list together, maybe start adding things to your cart. That's what I like to do. I definitely have a cart full of things, which I'm also gonna share in this video too, uh, as the sale has not started yet. And obviously I wanna save the 20% off too. So I have a lot of new things actually, things that I that are available at Sephora that you can get during the 20% off that I think is like really, really good. And honestly like makes sense, but I'm gonna give you like so many recommendations, things that are kind of, I think, tips like kind of a strategy even like when Sephora does these kind of sales things that you should definitely stock up on uh you know gift ideas things like that and then I'm also going to share you share with you like I said my wish list what is in my cart that I'm going to purchase tomorrow so details the sale is the 6th through 9th, if you're a Rouge member, you may have gotten something like this in the mail. I believe you have to bring this little card into the store because it has a scanner to actually save in the store. But they can tell that you're a Rouge member, so I don't know how that works. If you don't have this card and you're planning to like go shop in the store, I would call before just to make sure um, so that you don't get there and they're like, no. Um, and then if you shop in stores, you get a free mini tote. I know I've done that in the past, but I'm an online shopper. I don't really have time to go do that, you know, a lot of the times to go and make a shopping trip and, you know, sometimes I just don't want to. I'd rather just stay home and online shop. So this, that's what I think these videos are so helpful because if you're like me, then hopefully you can see some things, you know, that might help you. If I like these earrings, I'm just not a dangly earring person, but I do like these. They're very Kendra Scott-esque, but they're from Bobble Bar. They're so pretty. They're like a mother of pearl. I know, random, but um, I keep looking at them and it's like, just looks so different for me. But Okay, so that is the details on that. Um, really, there's no exclusions, and that's what's so awesome about this. I know I shopped the Ulta sale not that long ago where they were doing the 20% off. They always exclude fragrance, and I'm just like, what's the point? And certain brands, so that's no fun. So I just, I love how you can just, you know, Sephora's full of expensive things, and it's full of things that we may repurchase, you know, like skincare things or beauty things or big ticket items, you know, and it's just such a good time to take advantage of that. So like I said, I will give you some, like, tips and some strategy type things, things to not forget that will save you later. But as far as the sale itself, like I said, I will put all the details below. I'll put a link, I'll put the code, I'll put everything below, the dates and everything so that you can um, get all the information that you need. Now, this is a VIB Rouge, Rouge sale. I don't have any hard, like, specific information on the VIB sale or the Beauty Insider. Usually what they've been doing, the Beauty Insider has, like, a, I know, I think a, last year what they did was, um, like, you got a $20 gift card if you spent, like, 50 I don't think, it, I don't know if there was, like, an actual sale. I think there was, like, a, this is different than, like, a friends and family or anything like that. So I'm just not sure. These would still be my recommendations. So this video kind of is good for all of that. And if I do find out any information, um, you know, I'll update you guys through a video or through something, you know, I'll make sure. But if you guys have any information, let us know too, because this is such a great community. A lot of times you guys let me know things and you guys kind of talk. And um, so definitely if you have any information, if there's going to be a VIB sale or what, uh, just let us know that below. They're kind of inconsistent. And some years when they say they're doing a VIB Rouge sale or a VIB sale, sometimes like if you go on and use the code, sometimes it's, you may not even know that you're a rouge status and it works. I don't know, whatever. So I'll give you tips, recommendations. I have a lot of specific cool things to show you, a lot of new things, I'm very buzzed about things, and I'll also give you my wish list. So, so these are my best tips. If you have a foundation that you like that they sell, if you have a skincare product, like a fancy moisturizer, or fancy like face wash, or hair products, or a fragrance that you like, or something like that that you know you're gonna run out of, it's honestly a good time to stock up. For example, like I always use this little brow whiz, mine broke off the end, but this is something that I just go through. So I know I'll pick up an extra one. I actually got one of these at the old sale too. But when you can save 20%, why not? Um, I'll probably buy another one of my Clinique BB, the acne solution. This is just wonderful. Uh, this is a Sephora exclusive product. So I just purchased, this is a new one that I got. Um, I probably used, you know, I've used a little bit of this one, but I know that when the time comes for me to need a new one in, you know, a few months, it's not going to be 20% off. So, you know, you may as well do that. If you have things like 
the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. They're expensive. If this is a foundation that you like, or if you wanted to try these stick foundations, which are expensive, and in my whole little technique video where I use these, I do use two shades of these. And when you think about buying two shades, or even three shades, if you're gonna do like a lighter shade, and then a skin tone shade, and then, then your actual skin shade, and then a contour shade, that adds up freaking crazy. So, if you wanted to do something like that, that's a good, it's, it's such a good time to save the 20%. I do have a video, like I said, I do have a video showing these, but I have a video coming up soon where I'm going to do like a, um, just a really natural, like no makeup kind of look. And that's, these are what I would use for that. They're just so good. Also, brushes. Brushes are expensive. And the Marc Jacobs brushes are so great, but they are expensive, you know? And they're very quality brushes. They're very good. But when you can save 20%, I just think it's so great. This is the Face 2 brush. I need to wash mine. But I've been using this for foundation, and it's just unlike anything. You, you just need to try it. It's so, so good. But this is just such a great foundation brush if you're looking for one. But this one, if you are a powder foundation person, this is a must, first of all. Like, if you use a pressed powder foundation, this is a must. But also, I keep this, and I will blend out my blush. You know, if anything kind of gets a little overboard, if I need to blend, this is the best blending brush, and it's the Bare Minerals Precision Face. It's unlike, mine's kind of like super flat, but it's more of like an angled type thing, but the br bristles are just so velvety, and it's really different from any other brush that you might say looks similar to this. It has so much give. You know, it's not super, it's very dense, but the bristles are very soft and have a lot of give. So you can really buff it in. It's very soft and um, it won't like wipe your makeup off. You can get them for 20% off, why not? Oh, and this is another one. This is a good one that I think would be such a cute gift, but it's also a super useful brush that I use pretty much every day. It is the Teddy Bear, it's the Too Faced Teddy Bear Kabuki. So I love these little ones that you can kind of put in your purse, but this is a really quality brush. So. It kind of, you know, when you use it, it kind of fans out a little bigger. But what I do is, in the mornings, I use this. Like, I just, I don't have a lot of time in the mornings to get ready. You know, I'm getting Olivia up. I'm getting her going. And I will just, the same as I would use a moisturizer, I'll just put some of this on my fingertips. I'll rub it in. Kind of rinse my hands, wipe my hands or whatever. Then I'll take this and I'll buff it in. And it's just perfect. Um, this is great for bronzer. It's great for finishing powder. It's just a really good brush. And it's called the Teddy Bear Kabuki. So it's kind of a cute little fun extra thing, which it comes in a little cute box too, but what a cute gift, you know, for it to say like teddy bear. I know that's kind of cute and people like that, but it is a really nice quality brush too. So that's something I would definitely check out. And then of course, fragrance. I'm almost to the end of like my big tips and then I'll show you some like more specific products, but fragrance. Okay. If you know someone that likes a particular fragrance, no one is ever going to not like a gift of a perfume because they're expensive and it's something that I don't really enjoy I enjoy it because it's like a good product, but it's something that I kind of dread buying. Like, okay, I know I'm running out of that. And I always think to myself, like, is a holiday coming up? Can I, you know, maybe get this as a gift from someone? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I don't know. It, that's just something fun. And, you know, for me right now, I'm all about these. I just have fallen in love with these pretty hard and fast. I've had the body oils, which I really love, but have not had these very long, the actual perfumes, and I am in love. I'm just really, really loving these. I use them together. They're super unique. This one's pretty masculine. This one's really feminine. Together, they're really nice, but this one is very, like, rosy, lily, creamy, just delicious. Um, very, very good on its own, too, and a lot of people like, you know, when I said that I don't use the black one on its own, I always mix it with the white. A lot of people said that they use this one on its own, and I can see that. I think this one's going to be really, really good for, like, cold weather, holiday, like, it's just a very comforting scent. So these two are just amazing, and I mix them together. These, I think, would just make excellent gifts. And in the back of my mind, I'm always keeping, like, holiday gifts and stuff as well. Now, some a couple things that are more little buzzed about items. The Too Faced, what is this one called? There's different little ones. This is the Grand Chateau. The packaging and how they package this is very Lottery-esque. But don't they look like adorable little gifts? I mean, who wouldn't like that? I'm going to, like, sit this somewhere in this room because it's so freaking cute. So it's a little house. And, yeah, it's cute. It's kind of gimmicky. Normally, I don't really like things like this, but the products inside are actually really nice. This would, like I said, make a great gift. But if you just wanted, you know, something nice for yourself, it would be 
great too. So yeah, it looks like a little dollhouse. You get a Better Than Sex mascara, which is one of my favorite mascaras. I really like it. It's a lot of like, it's very voluminous and fluttery. And then you get three palettes. On the back, it has like a two from thing. So if you wanted to buy this and then gift these or do like stocking stuffers with these, keep one for yourself, I don't know. You could very well do that. You could tie a little ribbon around them. Um, the palettes themselves are really nice. So this is the first one. You can kind of just get an idea. I don't want to go through and like really, you know, I'm trying for the sake of time. I just want to kind of show you, but this one I think is my favorite. Like how gorgeous. Um, just perfect shades and very, very wearable, but still some fun shades too. That one's gorgeous. I love that purple. So this is is another product that is currently really buzzed about. I haven't even, that's what I'm wearing today, is this. It's the Anastasia Self-Made Palette. I kind of chuckle, chuckle at the name. I think it's hilarious, like the palette is self-made and it wants you to know it. And you know, you're kind of giving it the side eye, like are you really? <laughs> but it's just funny. The colors are really gorgeous today. I did more like a plummy, you know, I used some of the purpley colors, but I want to do uh, tutorial with this coming up soon so look out for that but I really like it it comes with a little brush and um, I mean you know this end is nice but it's not the best brush but the colors are really nice they um they're really nice I want to do like a review tutorial type thing so that'll come up soon but um but yeah you can just kind of see that there's a good mix of natural colors and fun colors as well but they're wearable fun colors which is what I like it's not just like you know what I mean? They've mixed it. That, that My point is they've done really, you know, bright, fun colors, but then they mixed it with natural colors because that's how I like to wear color is I mix it with more natural colors and more wearable things, and then you can really make any color wearable. They actually apply really well. So when I talked to a couple of my friends about the sale who are also VIB Rouge members, this was on both of their lists. So I'm like, okay, you know, it was something that appealed to me. So... I feel like it's kind of a popular item right now. I feel like a lot of people are interested in it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, um, so yeah, that's a good one. So this palette, I talked about a long time ago, it's the Vizart Professional Palette. So again, it's this palette is expensive. It's kind of scary, I think, for a lot of people to spend that much. But when you add up the actual amount, the actual price per, the actual amount that you get, it equates to like that of any other typical palette that you'd buy, but you're getting twice the amount, if that makes sense. The um, the little things are deeper and you get more. So I don't mind that. Also, this palette is so, I think, overlooked in the fact that you can use it not just for eyeshadow, but you can use it as highlight. This color is so beautiful. That's what I'm wearing right here. Um, you can use any of these, like, sort of these colors right here would make uh, this one especially would make an excellent like contour to really you know do that with but then it's perfect for your eyes It's perfect for filling in your brows and things like that. So while it's a more expensive palette You can really do a lot with it. I thought about getting the Kat Von D shade and light palette. I already bought it once I bought it for my mom and I really wanted to buy it again but after, you know, I give this another look, I'm like, I just, I don't need it, you know? This is just everything. It's just so perfect, and the colors are just so buttery. They blend in perfect. There's not a lot of fallout. They're just super um, professional, good quality st stuff, and you can, like I said, use it for multiple things. So this, I think, would be a good justification, I guess, to save the 20%, but also... It's just really nice. If you like beauty blenders, it's a good time to stock up. I just purchased a new fresh one. As you wash them over and over, they do get worn. Um, they last a very long time, but I always keep one on my table to like dab in my concealer, even if it's dry. If I use it for foundation, it always has to be wet. And they sell actually a new product right now that's a spray where you don't have to like go to the sink. You can just kind of reactivate it. But I don't know if it would really get it wet enough to get as poofy as I like it for applying foundation, but to me, I just think these just give such a nice finish. You just can't beat it, but I love this one came with a little blender cleanser solid, which is my favorite um, product for cleaning these and brushes alike, so just really, really good. Um, I do have a couple more products to mention, but 
Today, I, you know, I did say that that's what I was using on my eyes. On my cheeks, I'm using um, a mix of three different products. Obviously, I've got like bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. That's usually kind of what I do. And I've been really liking these, the Too Faced Love Flush blushes. And there's three that I like. I've tried all of them. But this one I think was my favorite. It's the Justify My Love. It's the pink one, the really pink one. That's what I'm wearing today. I also really like this one called Love Hangover. Um, it's the one that's a little more corally pink. And then this one called Baby Love, which is, whoa, which is kind of like a, um, a more natural toned tannish one. Those are my three favorite ones. Um, but today I'm wearing a really pink one. I'm wearing my Hourglass Bronzer and the Luminous Bronze Light. Another good thing to pick up if you're, you've been wanting, anything you've been wanting to try. I mean, it's just such a good excuse to try <laughs> something new. But hands down, what really kind of brings everything together and gives you that really nice glow without looking. Um, I don't like anything that has any flecky shimmer, no chunks, no anything. I like it to be just very smooth. I don't want it to look frosted, which this doesn't. It looks very um, natural, like it's a shine to your skin. It's not a product that you've, you know, slapped on top. This product, it just does not get any better. I say this all the time. I just cannot rave about this enough. It is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlight. It is so perfect. You can actually dust it on, you know, if you look a little too powdery or it just looks natural. It gives yourself a natural finish. Um, so it's just perfect. And that brings me into something that's on my wish list, which um, I wanted to show you guys. It's actually in this... Um, it's actually in this book. It's the Laura Mercier Blush and Glow Radiant Trio. So you get three of the powders. It's right there. It's This is the one that I just showed. You get the same exact version in the bronze, which I've been wanting to try for a long time because if this one looks this natural and is this pretty, then I know that the bronze is going to be nice too. But this is the color that I'm really interested in. I might, it looks almost like a it's like a blush that has a bit of like rosiness and bronze as well. But I like the palette. I think it's kind of fun. I could always use another one of these, although I always say these are such a good buy because I've used mine probably every day for like a year. And the dome is just now like flattening out. I feel like I have a long way to go on that. There's so many. Here, oh, here's the little thing. See, this is the new stuff from, um, it's called Reactivate, the beauty blender stuff that you spray. So I may put that in my list too. Oh, and then I'm glad I saw this, the black opium. Someone recommended that to me and I do want to smell that. It sounds like it's, it says rich coffee, sensual vanilla. It sounds like a good fragrance to have, but not really what, when I said that I was looking for something that was purely just sugar, the, I, I don't want any, like I don't want a scent that has sweet notes to it. I just want a scent that smells like one note and it's just sugar. like like liquid sugar, and that's, to me, it's Prada candy. Um, I've tried a bunch of those niche fragrance brands. Like, I, I a lot of people said, try the Jo Malone. I've, I've tried the, but a lot of times when you find a sweet scent within those ranges, it's very vanilla. You know, it's just a, one note of, like, vanilla. And that's not really what I want. I want something that just smells like sugar, um, as weird as that sounds. And the Prada candy does actually smell the most like what I want. So that is in my card as well. I'm going to order that. So... I just wanted that to like mix with my other fragrances, you know, so I didn't, but the black opium sounds really nice, but I don't want to um, get that unless if I actually try that because I have tried the product candy. I've tried um, samples of that. So um, that's on my list too. On my lips today, and this has something as well that I would recommend, the Marc Jacobs Primrose Liner. Definitely, this is something that I would put, you know, on the list of things to try. It's so nice. You can use it just all over. It's just that perfect lip color. That's what I'm wearing today. And then I used this. It's the, I don't know if this is that Sephora. I know NARS is, but I don't know if this, I'll look if this collection is the Stephen Klein. And it's a very like frosted, you know, just very, you know, so I put that on. Um, and then I put this over it. I know that they do have this. It's the Marc Jacobs Moon Glow, which I've raved about lately, but such a pretty gloss. That's what I'm wearing over it. I would check that out as well. And this is something that I think would make an excellent gift. I had to go get the box because I did want to show you guys. I haven't thrown out the box yet. And I kind of want to keep the box. It has another little part in it. But this would make a great gift. It's the uh, blow dryer by 
dry bar. It's the one called Buttercup. And it's a nice dryer. It's around $200, which is significantly cheaper to me than like the GHD, which is upward of like $300, or the, um, like the T3, which is around that price. So it's the same type of deal. It's very powerful. When you turn it on, like you can feel it, like, you know, you can feel the power behind it. It dries my hair super, super fast. And I've actually been, um, with my hair shorter, I've been drying it more. I used to when it was long, I would just let it air dry all the time. I still do that some, but I have enjoyed um, drying it. And it's because I finally have a good hair dryer. I've been using like the crappiest hair dryer for years. But that one is really, really nice. I think that this is a good purchase, especially when you can get a discount or really any, if, if you have your heart set on a, like a T3 or a GHD or something, of course, you can get that as well and save 20%. So expensive styling tools. Here's what it actually looks like. It's plugged in because I dried my hair right here before I did the video. But um, really nice, you know, and it's, I think this one would be fun to get because it's a little special. You know, it's cute. It has the whole cutesy like little buttercup behind, you know, name behind it. And it's... Um, yeah, it's very lightweight. Um, I did look up the weight specs on this as compared to the T3 and the GHD, and this one is significantly lighter, but it still feels really solid. It's a very well-made hair dryer, I think, and like I said, when I turn it on, it has three heats, um, two speeds, and a cool shot, so I guess four heat cool settings, but um, really nice. I would just really recommend that. And another thing, the Clarisonic. I think anyone would kind of flip the Hell out if they got a clear sonic like if that that's just such a great gift and again it's 20% off you can save so much those are just really nice and there's so many clear sonic sets the one that I got the Mia 3 that set is just so perfect I will link to it again that is just honestly just perfect if you're in the market for a clear sonic that is the one hands down I would recommend I don't think I would even recommend the two or the three the one. I had the two. I did not like it. Um, the one, if I didn't like the two, I know I probably wouldn't like the one. For sure, if you are looking at for a clear sonic, try that one. And it comes with so many nice things. And again, it would make a great gift as well. So I feel like we have talked about everything that Sephora sells. No, I'm kidding, but seriously, like, we've talked about a lot of stuff. And, you know, I'm not trying to be overwhelming or anything. I'm not saying to go out and buy all these, but I know that a lot of you watch a lot of different people with different tastes. So hopefully, I gave you a bunch of different options or maybe gave you some ideas or something. I, nothing worse than like, you know, at the end of a sale or missing a sale completely, but then like thinking, oh, you know, I need to buy gifts now. Wish I would have done that, you know, during the 20% off and you think in your mind how much you would have saved. It's like sickening. So definitely take yourself into consideration as I'm sure a lot of you are because you probably got things on your list that you really want to kind of spoil yourself with or things that you may not have been able to justify before and now you'll be able to save a little bit. Um, but also take gifts into consideration even though it might be a little early for some of you to think about shopping for Christmas. To me, I like to go ahead and get it done but it's just such a perfect time to buy gifts and I will link below to a lot of gift sets. There are some really, really good ones. I think you can take care of most people on your list um, with just, you know, not super expensive things, but just even little extra things to throw in, stocking stuffers. But then alternatively, you could do a big gift like the Clarisonic, like a hair dryer, or, you know, fragrance or something really nice. Perfect timing. If most, if a lot of you are VIB Rouge members, you probably, obviously you're just as obsessed with Sephora as I am and probably are looking for some, you know, gift ideas or probably would have shopped for gifts anyway. So, um, maybe this will help you out and give you a few more ideas and definitely take my tips into consideration like, you know, stocking up on things like your favorite foundation or your face wash or like my brow whiz that I go through a lot or a favorite mascara. That's a good one too. Um, just something that you go through. You may not need it for another month or two, but you know, in December when you run out of your brow whiz and you need it and you're like, dang, I could have saved, you know, a certain amount, whatever. So it's just nice to save the 20% when you can, especially on these more expensive items that rarely go on sale other places. So I would definitely go ahead and maybe plan out your cart if you're watching this on Thursday. Um, I would, you know, I, I like to always get it done ahead of time and then that way when the sale goes live I can just be like boop and just buy it. I don't have to worry about things getting picked over and stuff like that. So um, I hope that you guys caught this video during the sale. If you find this later maybe this will still help you out because it's some great fun things but again the 6th through the 9th and the code is below. It's Rouge20. I'll leave a link. I'll leave everything um, that you can find 
I'll link to these items and um, as well as some gift ideas. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Have fun shopping the sale if you do. If you're, if you have any more information on a VIB sale or a Beauty Insider sale that I didn't cover, because obviously I don't know any specifics on those. I don't even know if there is any info out there. I did look to see if I could find it and I couldn't. But if you do have any information to share with us, please do. And um, yeah, so when those do roll around for the VIB members or the Beauty Insiders, hopefully um, you can come back and check out these tips as well and it'll help you too. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.